right guys, welcome back to another streaming movie review. Today we are watching Suncoast. Suncoast is a new movie that is actually like a Hulu movie in America, which is actually, which means in the UK it's a Disney movie. It is on Disney Plus as an exclusive, I guess. It's the only place it's there. Um, and this is a movie that is very much a drama, like, um, you know, a bit of a family drama. It is a film that has its moments. It's definitely, I'd say, um, a hard watch at times because the topic itself is quite hard um, for me. And I didn't know anything going into this. So I will just say that right off the bat. The movie stars Nico, uh, Nico Parker, who plays um who plays doris now she's appeared in things like reminiscence with um, hugh jackman and the dumbo live action movie um laura Le Linney, liney um who has appeared in things like love actually truman show sully you know quite a few things turtles out of the shadows etc and then of course woody harrelson who has been in things like solo the hunger games movies venom let there be carnage etc etc we all know who woody harrelson is in a nutshell suncoast is the name of this hospice and you know Nic nico parker is basically her character doris she is, you know, struggling as a teenager. Her brother is like, her brother basically is on, you know, a pathway to end of life. That's what, you know, he's in Suncoast 4. He is going to die one day. We don't know when it's going to be kind of thing. Um, but Doris is a teenager. She wants to go out with her friends. She wants to do the underage drinking, cigarette smoking, all of that. And be a bit rebellious to obviously try and fit in in school. So Lacey and Brittany, they're basically these two girls in school, like the popular girls. It very much reminds me of Mean Girls in a way. Like she tries to want to fit in. She tries to, you know, be friends with them. She's at home on her own because her mum's obviously, you know, looking after her son a lot. So she's like, come over, have a house party. She's like the weird kid in school. But like because she has a house, like, you know, she's now got loads of friends and stuff like that. And um, yeah, so she's trying to do this. Um, on the other side, then we've got Woody Harrelson's character, who is Paul who I didn't really understand his like role in the film I mean he was there like there was a protest outside the hospice because like this person was in the actual hospice and you know um, he was campaigning that every life matters and, and all this and him and Doris they did bond you know they, they went to like this fast food place and you know they bonded there and that's how they initially started chatting and you know Woody Harrelson's character and Paul he lost his wife and you know he's on about how every life is like important and, 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 and all that and Doris is like you know they're gonna die anyway so what's the point like she even wishes her mum dead and he was like you can't say that you know so it's, it's that type of film it's kind of like a drama but like a teenager that's kind of rebellious but then at the end of the film she she learns the meaning of life and you know it, it it comes full circle you know all the way around so it's a very emotional film i will say that but um you know she has this unlikely friendship in a way and um yeah so it is a bit of a heavy film um in that sense especially going into it blind i had no idea what i was getting in for but you know i'm glad i watched it because it was um i'd say it's a film that didn't didn't feel like a disney film even though the cast was very small the budget was very small it was very simple very plain very like you know this is what it is but it just felt like this could have been in the cinema um it just felt like it had that vibe to it i'm not too sure but it was just it was just felt different you know so rating right the movie then what will i score it well i actually gave it a three star because i thought it was pretty decent it's nothing to write home about it's nothing like amazing i'm not going to recommend it to all my friends and all that type of thing but it is something that you know is a good decent watch you know you appreciate what you're seeing through the camera lens and you know i think there was not really an actor or actress in the film that did a bad job even like the teenagers like I, sometimes i always cringe at when they well, how they write young people like how they write like you know like eastenders is the worst but like in this film those the writing of the young characters was was great it was on point for what was believable to a certain extent and um you know i think doris and christine who is her mum as well as paul they had a good chemistry in the scenes they were all in i think the casting was great in the film and i think it just worked um but the topic was very like out there very like wow this is like you know something that's very believable it could happen um but yeah but there you go guys there is sun coast it is on disney plus if you are interested thanks so much for watching guys of course comment down below if you have seen it and let me know your thoughts and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one goodbye